Welcome back to my channel everyone and today we have woken up bright and early so that we can go to Talantongo which is a box canyon and resort located in the state of Hidalgo in Mexico. It is about three to four hours northwest of Mexico City. The Grutas de Talantongo are a communal run complex with caves, warm springs, and several campsites, pools, and restaurants complex. General admission costs around 150 pesos and if you want to park it's 30 pesos you can also take a bus from different locations to get to this place. There's also a shuttle service. To stay in the hotel, it costs anywhere from 750 pesos all the way to 1800 pesos, depending on the size of the beds and how many people you can fit in the rooms. The hotels and campgrounds fill up fast, so make sure to get there early or to book the hotel in advance. Now that all that information is out of the way, I can talk more in depth about this place. Now, it is such a fun and interesting location and you would think that the water is cold but it's not it's pretty much room temperature and the water is very clear i recommend bringing water shoes because it can sometimes be slippery or the ground can be rough and hurt your feet also these little thermal pools that you're seeing along the cliffs these are man-made they're not natural but the stone used is natural from this area and you can also walk on this bridge, even though it seems very scary, it's cool, but if a lot of people jump on it, then it moves a lot. It's also kind of small, so if people are trying to go one way and you're going the opposite way, you kind of just have to like squeeze past each other, and it's kind of scary to do on the bridge. But you do need to get past the bridge to go down to these like small tunnels. I think, I'm pretty sure they're man-made, but they're really cool inside and the water's warm. It is dark inside, so make sure to be careful where you're walking and don't slip, don't fall, don't run. Uh, try and bring a light with you or use your, your flashlight on your phone since there are no lights inside. Every once in a while, you get these small cave openings where you can get out if you need to or you can keep on exploring down the caves. We left after a while to continue exploring and saw this river down below. You can go in it, but I didn't at this time. If you keep exploring, you'll come across this huge waterfall and there's a cave inside where you can actually go, but you gotta stay in line for that. And this is beautiful and it's amazing. It's an incredible experience to be seeing this right now. And when it was our time, we had to quickly get through to the other side. If you ever come here and go into this waterfall, make sure that you have water shoes because you will most likely scratch up your feet and be careful with your hands. You don't actually accidentally want to cut them. Bring a waterproof flashlight or use your phone's flashlight because again, it's dark in there, there's no lights. I didn't stay in the cave for long because it's extremely humid and hot in there. So if you have trouble with claustrophobia, don't go in because I had a panic attack while it was in there and it was very difficult to breathe. It was scary and hard to get out because there were so many people. Once you get out, you can enjoy this little cave underneath the waterfall that opens up and you can just swim in there and it's nice and relaxing. And I really enjoyed this part. It helped me calm down after attempting to go into the cave that entered into the waterfall. The only thing that was back there in that cave was just like another waterfall or something. At least that's what my dad said to me when he went in. You do have to be careful with your head when you're swimming because if you uh, put your head up, then you might hit the ceiling and that's very sharp as well. So overall, I really enjoyed this place and I think everyone should come. Just be wary of going inside that cave in the waterfall because that's kind of hard. It's not for everyone, so keep that in mind. That is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and make sure to like and subscribe so that you guys can see the next video on seeing uh, the monarch butterflies in a special place in Mexico.